hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in for today's tutorial hope you are doing good and great as well if you are new here please go ahead and click the subscribe button and join this family and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share this video to friends and family okay today's tutorial is a one side pixie cut hairstyle i'm parting the hair with a small comb or a tail comb like so you need to make sure that the passing is straight and neat enough before you go ahead to start doing the backward cornrow for this style you have to section this the client hair into two different portions the front part and the back part the front part should be like smaller than the back part now for the back part you have to part it into two using a tail comb to do so and then you now start doing the backward cornrow which is also known as two hands or dd in nigeria here in nigeria I do have a detailed tutorial on how to do the two hands or DD backward con roll. Very detailed. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. In case if you are interested, you just go and check it out. Okay, doing the two hands or the DD at the back, you have to con roll it all the way to the front. That's the middle part of our head. That's the client's head. Con rolling it and also brushing it as you go so that you get a neat DD or backward con roll this particular hairstyle can also be achieved on a client with natural hair the only different thing you need to do is just to use eco styling gel while doing while conrolling doing the backward conroll okay i will advise you that if you do not know how to do the backward conroll you really need to learn it that is if you want to actually do this hairstyle you need to learn it okay the link will be in the description box below like i said before because it can either break or make the hairstyle after conrolling, you just go ahead to box braid the tip of the hair and then fold it inside. Then after folding it, you use needle and thread to just secure the tip of the hair to hide the tips of the hair. Okay, now that we are done doing the backward conroll at the back, for the front, this is how to conroll the front part of her head the client head or this is how i can roll the front part of the client head first con roll is from the front down to where the backward con roll stop and then for the tip i kind of added it up with the other part of the con rolls then i can roll the other portion of the front hair from the parting side down to where i did the first con roll and do the same to the rest and while i'm doing so i'm kind of connecting all the tips of each hair or each con roll to each other then after connecting all the tips to each other including the first con roll i did after connecting all the tips to each other i used a needle and thread to just hide the last tip to the end of the con roll okay the reason why i can roll it this way is so that all the hair that's after sewing in all the weaves it will actually lay down very flat it won't have like lumps by the side so that's why i actually can roll it this way hair i'm actually using for today's tutorial is called afro b i've been using this hair like i've used this hair a lot of times here on this channel it comes it's a short length hair it comes in a pack just like four pieces in a pack so i decided to use just three pieces for this particular hairstyle and for the hair to kind of suit the client i decided to use a color two because her hair is not really black so that's why i decided to use a color two okay i'm starting from the very first conroll actually conrolled before by the side of her head so that's where i'm starting from and if you are just joining us for these sewing classes or tutorial i would advise you to check previous videos on how to sew in because i do have a very detailed tutorial on how to sew in i'm going to leave the link in the description box below for this particular hairstyle, I'm not doing the turnover method. When I get to the end of a particular line, I just use the scissors to cut the tip out or to cut the weave out and then place the weave to the next line and continue to sew in. This is so that the weave will lay down very flat. Leave a comment if you are confused, if you don't really know what I'm doing, just leave a comment and I'm going to do like a more detailed tutorial on this particular hairstyle for you guys. So let's just stay together, make our own forever be my guilty pleasure. Okay, 
okay as i'm sewing in i'm taking just a single weft i'm not doubling the weft i'm taking a single weft of the afro b you guys know that afro b are you guys know that afro b wefts are usually like human hair wefts they are really thick they are already doubled so i'm not doubling the weft i'm just sewing in just single single wefts <laughs> Okay, while sewing in the afro bee, make sure that the coils are inwards. Do not sew in the weaves or the coils backwards so that after sewing in, you can easily style the hair. Guys, just watch me as I'm sewing in. I'm kind of sewing the hair in a C shape, but not a really pronounced C shape. So just watch the video carefully to get a better understanding. And time slows down. I just want you near me. My heart beats faster. You bring me to life. We'll continue sewing in until I have just little space for me to kind of complete the sewing. As I feel your hands on my waist, my body's hypnotized So come with me, I've got the surprise Take it to a different space and time Tell your dirty secrets on me Love, no regrets, my heart You can keep it For the closing, I'm using the bonding glue together with a spray gel. You guys already know the kind of body glue I use. So I'm using this particular one. And if you cannot find this particular bonding glue, you can go ahead to get the super hair bond glue. So for the hairspray, you can use any hairspray of your choice. Any hairspray will do. As usual, I actually apply the bonding glue on the weft of the hair and then cut it into pieces and then start placing it on the remaining part of her hair just to finish the sewing. This is so that the hairstyle will actually look natural after finishing. I also do have a tutorial on how to do this finishing method or this particular one. We'll also leave the link in the description box below. I have like tons of videos on this particular method. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. So in case if you are interested, just go and check it out. So yeah, we go ahead to gradually place the weft just on the remaining part of the cornrow and as I'm placing, I'm also spraying. I'm spraying the spray gel to that particular part where I'm applying the weft of the hair and so that it will be able to stick to the cornrow. That's the weft. I'm placing the weft to her head. I'm adding little pressure so that it will stick as well as I'm spraying the spray gel onto that particular part, onto that particular part where I actually place the weft. I know you guys to be like why am i not using a protector that's a lace or a bandage just to protect her hair from the bonding glue the reason is because she's not wearing this hairstyle for a very long time so yeah that's why we're actually placing it that way she's going to carry the hair for like i think a week probably but if you actually want it to if the client is going to carry it for a longer period of time i advise you to just like place a little bit of um lace on it that's a material that looks like the closure lace so just place it on it you guys already know the method place it on it and then sew it before applying or before placing the weft with the bond hope you guys get it once i'm done placing the webs i'm just going in with the hair spray that's the gel spray just on that particular parting line so that everything will just stick and lock after placing the weft, we'll go ahead to trim off all the flyaway hairs that I can be able to trim up and then use a comb or a brush to just style the hair properly to fit the client's hair. So yeah, here is the final look. Hope you enjoyed and you're able to learn something from this video. And if you did, do not forget to share this video to friends and family. Subscribe if you are new here. Give the video a big thumbs up and leave a comment on what you think. So yeah, we'll talk to you guys in my next video. Stay blessed and I love you all. Bye. I'm all I